Okay, so today I'm working on another TG16, and down here you can see that I've already done region mod, there's a switch for it, and an AV mod, the TRS version with stereo and composite video. But uh, what I'm really working on right now that I wanted to show everybody was a, a new version of uh, the logo light LED mod that I did uh, in the, I think it was the first AV mod video I did for the TG16 and also showed how to do the logo light but it was extremely complicated and hard to do uh, what I was doing was I was actually drilling five holes in heat sink and RF shielding right here I think there was two and three and then wiring in those five LEDs and it was just time consuming difficult just overly complicated and then last year at some point I did that video, um, kind of a bad mod work video, and I can't remember the guy's name, but it was the front loader NES, had the bad paint job, and it had the window on top, and it had the strip LED light that was like shining right back into your face. Remember that? Well, that gave me the idea, and uh, you know, sometimes good ideas can come from bad mod work, was to use that same kind of LED strip to do the logo light. And you can see I've already wired up some of this, cut off three LEDs, wired them to five volts. It's actually made for 12 volts. You see plus 12 volt there and then minus over here. And I think what I can do is if it's not bright enough is just change this resistor on the end. It's 150 ohms there and just lower it since I'm putting lower voltage to it. If it's not bright enough, hopefully it is, but we'll see. Um, I also thought, well, luckily we're uh, three LEDs seems to cover that hole pretty well. But if it doesn't, I always thought I could. I thought I could just uh, cut off another three and put it side by side, maybe offset it some or something like that. But I'm hoping we don't have to do that, and I'm hoping that it lights up just fine with just these three and I'm actually getting pretty close to trying this and I'm going to pop that sticker back off and lay this back down on there what I want to do is make sure that I'm going to get somewhere in the right area here for mounting that light strip that works and we can just peel off this backing probably should have cleaned that with some rubbing alcohol or something first not sure how long that's going to stay. And we do have some exposed 5 volt and ground there. But I did solder it just so there's no actual wiring touching the ground plant or the uh, heat sink and stuff. So that should be okay. I might actually come back and put just a few dabs of super glue around it just to be real sure. And I did go straight for the legs of the 7805 just because of convenience. That looks okay. So what I think I'll do is just put the sticker back on here. I might put some extra glue on this as well. Since there's a lot less of the sticky backing holding it on there. I might go ahead and Just lay it down in there and then power it up and see what that looks like. Okay, so power going to it here. And yeah, it's a little shadowy, if I'm being honest. Like right here on the 16. Let me turn off some lights for you. How about that? Let 
definitely need to glue that sticker down. Definitely tell that the R, G, and FX area are where the lights are shining through most, but I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. So, put it all together and test the other mods. Well, all them all put back together and it looks like all the mods work as they should and you can kind of see the uh, logo light back in there. So, yeah, I definitely wish I would have uh, found this out a long time ago. Much, much easier.